Judith Beck from Gols in Burgenland in Austria. The Burgenland area is the most eastern area of all Austrian wine growing regions and it's very close to the Hungarian border. It's uh, quite a warm area and we're always the earliest ripening of all wine growing regions of Austria. We have a huge lake in our area which has a big big surface and um, it takes a lot of heat during the day and gives it back during the night which makes the area even warmer and that's why it's uh, perfectly adapted for making red wines. We have uh, many different soils in the area. You can see that we are on a, on a slope here now in this vineyard and uh, along the, the slope, along the gentle hill that we have uh, are all our best vineyard sites. That's where we plant most of the red wines and especially the Blaufränkisch. Blaufränkisch is one of our red grapes and it needs the warmest vineyard sites and the best soils that we have. Then we have a gravelly plateau on top of the hill. Um, we have a reddish gravel there and the soils with a very good drainage. That's why we plant all the grapes that are, that are a bit more sensitive to botrytis up there because uh, the soil has a good drainage and uh, it's more windy up there and that's why it gets dry quickly after rainfalls. And then we have the plain land near the lake where the soils are a bit more fertile and there we, we plant Zweigeld and um, uh, many of the white grape varieties. In 2007 we converted to biodynamic viticulture and um, so which th this means that we changed a lot about, about uh, especially about the soil management um, we, we have cover crop, crops in all our vineyards now. Um, it's, we, we work with compost every year. We apply all the biodynamic preparations. We are in a Zweigelt vineyard now. In this vineyard it's quite big, it's 1.4 hectares. And we also have a fence around it. And we keep some chickens here. The chickens add to the biodiversity, they help us control the insects in the vineyards and they also give us wonderful vineyard eggs. It's very important to me that the wines can age in barrels for a couple of months. So we do fermentation in stainless steel, but uh, then all the wines go to old barriques or 500 liter barrels. And we also have some big barrels, you can see them over there. They are um, from my grandparents, so they're like 70 or 80 years old and we still use them for many of our wines. Um, I'm not looking for the oaky flavors, for the, for the taste of wood, but it's just uh, that the wines can develop better and they can breathe in wooden barrels. A couple of years ago, we started buying some uh, ceramic amphoras and uh, the idea is to have a completely neutral container to uh, focus on the fruit of the wine without any influences of wood or anything else. Talk about the wines a little bit. The first one I'd like to show you is the Weissburgunder from the 2019 vintage. Weißburgunder is a grape that's, that has quite a long tradition in our area. It's quite important for us and I think it's, it's perfectly adapted to our soils and our climate. All of our wines are, or all of our grapes are hand-picked and uh, the Weißburgunder arrives at the cellar and then it's pressed directly and they, then we move the grape juice to old wooden barrels. 
So most of the time we use the old ones from my great parents for the Weissburgunder and then the fermentation starts spontaneously. So we don't inoculate, we just wait until the fermentation starts. Um, and um, after the fermentation, the wine just stays in the barrels until we decide to bottle it. That's about six months on the entire lease. Yeah, so I think it has a very typical Weissburgunder fruit and, and it's, a, it's a very versatile fruit companion. The next one is the Back Ink, also from the 2019 vintage. And Back Ink is meant to be a very easygoing, light and fruit driven red wine that we prefer to drink slightly chilled. It's a blend of two grape varieties, it's about 90% Zweigelt and 10% St. Laurent grape. The Zweigelt is a grape with a lot of fruit character and uh, St. Laurent is quite special. It's related to Pinot Noir and, and it has a lot of spicy flavours and I think the, the combination of both is just, the wine just gets an extra kick with the St. Laurent, it adds a lot to the uh, aroma profile of the blend. We do fermentation in stainless steel and then the wine is aged in old, in small oak barrels but old ones and we keep it there for eight to ten months. The next one is the varietal Zweigelt, 100% Zweigelt and uh, we plant this Zweigelt in the plain land Zweigel is kind of an all-rounder as far as the soils are concerned. You can plant it on many different soils and you will get nice results. But here this one from the Plainland uh, has a very pronounced fruit. With the Zweigel you most, mostly get cherry flavours and it, it's quite soft and has smooth tannins. And uh, this one is from the 2018 vintage and it's uh, a vintage that, that was very hot and dry. So it's quite full-bodied, but still has a lot of freshness and, and fruit. And finally, we get to the Blaufränkisch. Blaufränkisch is a very old and traditional grape variety that is planted in Austria, but also a bit in Hungary and uh, the Czech Republic. And, uh, it's a grape that has very nice tannins, it has, uh, it's, it's quite uh, complex and it shows a lot of where it is growing. So you can get very different results on, on different soils. Um, in our area we plant it only on the, on the hills because that's the warmest and uh, best vineyard sites that we have. And Blaufengisch is the latest ripening grapes and that's why it needs the warmest vineyard sites that we got. It's all southwest exposed slopes. So um, this Blaufränkisch is uh, still quite fruit driven. It, it has a lot of uh, black berry flavors and uh, we do fermentation in a wooden fermenter and then it's aged in old oak barrels for about 10 to 12 months.